Problem 42 is asking us to decide whether we have constitutional isomers or different representations of the same compound. So we want to know if these are the same or different, basically. Now, a good way to do that is just to name the compounds. So in this structure here, we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five carbons in the longest chain. So we would call that um, 2-methyl pentane. The next compound here, one, two, three, four, five carbons in the longest chain, and we also have a methyl group at carbon two. So we can conclude that those are the same. They're just different representations of the same molecule. This next structure here, let's try to name these. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. So this is 2,2-dimethylpentane. And this other guy is going to be 3,3-dimethylpentane. Now you could count the total number of carbons and you'll see that it's going to be uh, seven. And so these two molecules are constitutional isomers. Our next problem C, we've got the longest chain. And when you select the longest chain, you wanna select the longest chain that has the most number of substituents. So that would be the correct way of, uh, of doing this. Okay, that has seven carbons. This also has seven carbons and it has three substituents rather than two. So we would wanna number the longest chain And we would uh, need to look carefully. So there's a methyl group at carbon two. There's a methyl group over here at carbon two. Okay. There's an ethyl group at carbon three. And there's an ethyl group at carbon three. And here there's a methyl group at carbon four. So we can conclude that these are the same compound, just differently drawn. Let me go ahead and just write the name to finish this up. So remember that you combine two methyl groups with the use of dimethyl. Okay. A seven-membered chain for the parent chain is called heptane. Now when you abbreviate, or I mean when you alphabetize, E comes before M. Okay, E comes before M. So we want to start this off by writing 3-ethyl. Um, 2, 4, dimethyl. It doesn't matter about the numbers. It matters about the letters, right, for alphabetizing. So the ethyl group comes before the methyl groups. And then, of course, the last part of the name would be heptane. Hept is 7.